Skittles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Uh, this is an electric motor, a very small electric motor. Uh, it's, I believe, 4mm by 11mm. Um, the reason I've got this motor is because I was going to put it in a model uh, to spin the propeller. But there is one small drawback to this plan. Uh, this motor spins at 70,000 RPM. That's 70,000 revolutions per minute. And I think it's going to be way too fast <laughs> for a propeller. Um, but I thought it might be fun to actually put a propeller on this and see what happens. So that's what we're going to do today. Now obviously for this we're going to need a propeller and this is the propeller I've chosen. Um, this kit came from a, a friend of mine. Um, he never finished it obviously and quite frankly I can see why. It's an awful bloody thing. Uh, I don't know what it is or where he got it from but it's absolutely vile. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this propeller off and uh, attach it to our motor and spin it and see what happens. So, let's do that. I think the easiest way to cut this off is uh, I'll use a razor saw um, and cut it off that way. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it without breaking it. Um, I think what I might do is actually cut through the front and then see if I can peel it apart. Because I don't want to break the blades, that's the thing. So. So there's the prop. Um, now, what I need to do is drill a hole in this for the shaft of the motor to go in. Uh, this um, pin vise is uh, an Archimedes screw. I get asked about this a lot. You can buy them on eBay or Amazon or anywhere. They're quite cheap. Um, but it's an Archimedes screw. It's got a 0.5 millimeter drill bit in it. See, what I don't want to do is, is glue the prop onto the uh, onto the motor if I can avoid it. Uh, I apologise for the noise from outside by the way the neighbours are having some tree work done and they're making all kinds of noise so if you can hear chainsaws and things in the background that's why. Right. <laughs> this is going to I am going to wear. I'm wearing safety glasses. I should say when I do this because I do not want this thing flying off and hitting me in the face. Okay, so that's that. Um, for a power source, I've got here uh, a 750 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. And again, because this has got a Molex connector on it, I don't want to cut the connector off. So I'm going to use this uh, adapter. Um, and basically what will happen is I'll just poke the wires into the Molex connector and then um, and then connect it to the battery like so and so now when I plug this into the battery the motor should spin so before we go any further like I said safety glasses these are your friends. I mean, I know we're just messing about here, but if that prop flies off and hits you in the eye, it'll take your eye out. Safety glasses. Okay. So now, if I plug this into here, 
I've got a sneaking suspicion because it's not glued on, it's probably just going to come flying straight off, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Um, although it is entirely possible the battery might be a bit flat. I mean, it's got a, <laughs> it's got a hell of a wobble on it. <laughs> you can see that or not, but that's got a hell of a wobble on it. But one thing that's actually impressed me with this is um, how quiet this motor is. I mean, I know it's a tiny little motor, but it's, it's, there's barely any noise comes out of it. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't quite as dramatic as I hoped it was going to be. Um, maybe I'll put it in the model after all. I'll have to have a think about this. Uh, anyway. Um, that was it really, just a little bit of fun, uh, thought it might be of some small amusement. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do with this now, whether I'm going to put it in the model or not. Um, but yeah, well, uh, you'll, you'll see this hopefully in an upcoming video. So uh, yeah, I hope this was uh, of some small amusement for you, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching, cheers, bye.